Hey folks, here is a process video on making a mixed media illustration like the one to the right. In order to make this 10 minute sketch, I used a bunch of different materials. You can kind of see them below. Uh, before we get going on this demo, I'd like to share where I got inspiration for this sketch. Make sure you follow the link that's in the description so you can support the artist who created this awesome comic book cover. Now, here's a list of the materials that I used to make this sketch. And like while all of this stuff is pretty nice to have, all you really need is a brush and some ink. So now let's explore what these tools can do. Whenever I work with new materials, I really like to see what the limitations are. And I do that by practicing different lines and brush strokes. I like to see what's needed in order to make really dark and really light areas. So you will see a lot of hatching, cross hatching, uh, rotation of the actual pen or the brush. Sometimes I gap the lines, sometimes I, you know, tilt, but you know, you get the point. Uh, really just do what you can to try to see what type of line work you can get with the stuff you've got. Ah, finally, demo time. Let's go and explore these three ideas or concepts as I walk you through the process of making this painting. Everything starts out with a sketch, and when it's time to put down some ink, I like to use the largest marker possible that will allow me to get the detail that I'm trying to depict. So you can kind of see that I'm focusing on maximizing the visual range with only black and white. I'm really trying to see like, what can I do just with these two different colors? with black with white okay some areas I'm deliberately leaving uncolored because I want to add a bit of texture I want to leave some visual interest and by doing this it's going to give me some options a little bit later to go in either fill it in or to carve it out and add a little bit more white we'll see that in a little bit when adding some shading to the drawing or in other words including some kind of a half tone I'll use any range of techniques to get additional ink onto the paper. So in this case, you're gonna see a lot of hatching, which is basically a bunch of parallel lines and you gap them apart. Um, I'll put that in order to create a smooth transition. And you know, by using a smaller tool like this pen, I can fine tune the silhouette of any of the shapes while helping my forms emerge. So in this segment, you can see that I'm doing a hatching technique with some curved lines to give a sense of roundness to the atmosphere. But notice how I'm breaking up some of the lines and I'm trying to randomize it. This is such a great way to go and take a, a dark black ink and to make it look a little bit lighter uh, because you know sometimes you do want a little bit of material on the paper, but you don't want that much that's where you're going to gap some of these lines and try to get some variation because it, it just looks a lot nicer. Final tip that I have is to carve out those details. The bulk of this sketch has been done so now I'm just going to go back and remove some of the black ink in order to lighten up some areas. This is also a good time to add in additional visual information that may have been covered up during that first phase of the drawing cycle. When using a process like this, I feel that you can get some really good results if you start by going for the general form of the drawing before you spend any time refining it. And you know, look at let's look at this image. Let's call it what it is. This is a quick sketch. It's only three by eight inches and it's done in about 10 minutes. It's really meant to communicate a mood or an idea. And given how quickly these can be done, the hope is that an artist is gonna come up with like five to 10 of these before really spending a lot of time in Photoshop making a huge painting. All right, gotta end this video. It's almost five minutes. Check out Framed Ink 1 and 2. Go to the library, or even better, go buy these and support the artists. They're so good. Uh, really check out the images and study them. Excellent use of composition and a lot of the stuff we talked about, black, white, and halftones. Also, how to draw noir comics. If you're into comic books, that's really good for you. Um, check out this book. Excellent use of caricature, staging, a lot of good frames and things like that. And it gives you an idea of how to construct these different types of images. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching this. We'll see you in the next video. Go give this a shot. Bye.